So is this a, a big loop, or is, the, is it a network of canals? It's a network of canals, yeah. And how long are those canals in total? Do they have an idea? About 180 kilometers, maybe. Wow, that's yeah. 150 miles of canal. It's really big. To put that in context, that's just about four times as many canals as Venice. So it hasn't changed in 500 years, or so. Yeah, this hasn't changed. This part of the city hasn't changed. So this is all owned individually. Different families will own their yeah, own Yeah, different plots. families will own these. And some of them live here at the same time. They have their houses here. Yeah. And they grow things at the same time. My family used to grow chamomile. I remember that. Yeah, chamomile. Really? Have you still got family around this area now? Yeah, Maybe. most of my family still lives. Oh, wow, that's yeah. incredible. Most of the people that live here, they were uh, like their parents, their grandparents, and they go back generations. It does have a lot of indigenous influence. There's yeah. a lot of people here that still speak uh, the native language, which is Nahuatl. Yeah, and it's uh, an Aztec. Yeah. So the food that is grown here at the moment, yeah. is it purely for local or is it is it going to be feeding Mexico City? Is this going to be with yeah. products from here? Uh, actually, both. Some Most of the produce uh, goes to the city center and the rest remains in here. In fact, the produce grown here is of such quality that it fetches very high prices in the city's top restaurants. As a result, the locals don't keep much for themselves, but what they've learned to do is cook with the offcuts. There was quata tapas, a soup that's been made here for hundreds of years using leftover, broken, or damaged vegetables. Chili pozzanelli uses all of the chili leftovers, the seeds, the pith, the stem, nothing is wasted. It's a very local dish cooked only in this borough of the city. And a lot of dishes are flavored with what they call quilite, stuff that grows as weeds on the chinampas. All these recipes have been passed down through the generations. But before Paul can taste any of it, he needs to earn the right by playing this ancient Aztec form of hockey. And Paul, the lucky thing, will be trying his hand at the more spectacular nighttime form of the game, pelota por pecha, or fire hockey. <laughs> so it's Paul Hollywood's team of people he's met so far in Mexico versus the pick of the local fire hockey superstars. I think what I say now is game on. Let's go, team. Ian. <laughs> the game was invented by the Pura Pecha tribe in Western Mexico about three and a half thousand years ago. Yeah. The ball just flew right yeah. through. Yeah. Apparently, it represents the battle between day and night, the ball being the sun and the players being the movement of the universe. Fire hockey was dying out, but as indigenous communities in Mexico have regained pride in their heritage, the game has caught on big time. There's even an official national league now. <laughs> You're at nearly 8,000 feet, kicking a fireball around a courtyard. I'm exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. Paul's game ends in a surprising victory for the visitors, 6-2, with the man himself scoring an impressive four goals. After catching their breath, the teams come together to extinguish the ball. Or at least they try to. There we go. With the ball finally out, it's time to eat. Nice. I definitely worked up a very healthy appetite, and the food was amazing. And remember, it was made with the stuff he'd usually throw away. What is this in here? Veggies. Oh, it's veggie. Yeah, like and they cooked like inside the, yeah. the corn leaf. It looks lovely. Things I'm learning quickly about Mexicans are that, firstly, nothing gets wasted. And secondly, they can make fantastic food out of whatever they happen to have at hand. We were eating the stems, the leaves, the pith, the rind, but it was all delicious. Carlos and Ayers, I just want to say a huge thank you for bringing me here today. I mean, you feel like a little bit of part of history in Mexico just playing the game. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It's a spectacular way of ending this. My first week in Mexico, I've had the best time ever. Muchas gracias, everybody. Salud. Salud.
Ali Bobea.